Today is Thursday, June 9, 2016. Welcome to your daily dose of MMA Now. Well, Forbes Top 100 list is out, and on the athletes list, the notorious Conor McGregor makes it. He came in at 85, pulling in 22 million, and on Forbes Females list, Ronda Rousey came in at number three, pulling in 14 million, which includes fight, purse money, and endorsements. Well, Chris Weidman and Michael Bisbing are going at it on social media. Weidman says that Bisbing called him out before his fight with Rockhold, and now that he's taken a few steps back. Bisbing says that Luke Rockhold should fight Chris Weidman, especially since he knocked him out. We'll wait for the dust to settle and see what's going to happen there. Frank Mir is on suspension, and we got to see how long it's going to be from USADA, but he says the fight between him and Brock Lesnar makes a lot more sense than him and Mark Hunt. Although he can't fight, he said that would be a bigger pull because it would be a rubber match and they have history between the two of them. Speaking of Brock Lesnar, Mark Hunt coming out and says that he is juiced to the gills and it's not fair that USADA is granting him an exemption four months out from his fight. So what this means is one month before UFC 200, Brock Lesnar will start to be tested, but in between that time, it's open season. Mark Hunt says that I should have been juicing myself but he said, don't worry, the Super Sub moment will knock out Brock Lesnar at UFC 200. We can't get enough of this story. And Jose Aldo is dispelling rumors that he was injured. He posted on Instagram after he was training that all is well and that he will still be there against Frankie Edgar. Last, Robbie Lawler is doing some promotion with Tyron Woodley. And one of the questions that came up was about Conor McGregor. What would he have done to him? One thing he said he wouldn't have done was taken his neck. He said, I would have taken McGregor's soul. Well, that'll do it for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. And now you're all caught up with your daily dose of MMA Now.